One of the really cool things about Swift UI is that if I'm using a UI kit application and I'm using a table view or a table view controller, and I am getting the donut because that is my entity, that is my model, and I'm getting the cell, and I want to display that particular cell, which will maybe look like a donut. But how would I do that? Well, one of the cases I can do is I can use cell.textlabel, but text label is expired and now you have to use content configuration. But what if, just what if, we can make and we can use a self UI view as our cell view for UI kit table view? Hmm, how is that even possible? Well, actually it is possible. Let's go ahead and see how we can do that. This is my donut table view controller. We have a donut which has a name and a picture. If I run this application, it's not really going to display anything because we're not really returning any cell. So it does display UI, you know, table view, but it doesn't display any cell. What we're trying to do is, what if we can create a cell in Swift UI? That would be fun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a donut cell view, which is just a normal view, like a Swift UI view. Body, sum, view. Make sure that you import. Obviously, also make sure that it is done in a different file, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just adding it right over here. Now we can see that we have a donut cell view. We have a var body property, which returns you some view. And now it's kind of like up to us, whatever we want to do. So this means that I can go ahead and display an image based on a donut dot picture. This means that for the donut cell view to work, somebody needs to pass in the donut, which is simply the donut. Apart from this, we can make this image resizable, clipping shape. Basically, whatever you have learned in Swift UI, you can use that. I can also go ahead and add a text view with the donut dot name. I can add a spacer. And finally, if I want to add a image of a chevron, I can do that also. And that's it. Now, this is a donut cell view. How can I use this in my UI table view controller? Let's scroll down to the table view delegate function for the cell for right index path. And in this particular function, what we can do is we can use cell configuration, cell.content configuration equals to UI hosting configuration, passing in the content, and that is going to return a simple UI view, which can be the donut cell view, passing in the donut. Well, we already have the donut as from line number 60, so just pass it along. And that's it. Let's go ahead and run this and see how it looks like. Whoa, this is awesome. We were able to create our cell view, which is the most important part of the UI table view anyways, in complete Swift UI. And now we can display it, we can interact with it. I mean, this is kind of crazy. So this configuration, which is the UI hosting configuration, allows you to host a view which can be used for your cell in your UI table view controller. Now you can go ahead and design your donut cell view or any kind of a cell view in Swift UI any way you want and then load it up in your table view controller. This will enable you to make your cell views much faster as you will be using Swift UI and then you can simply inject it and use it using cell content configuration. Thank you. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then check out my courses on Udemy. I have a lot of different courses on Udemy, 
uh, including the building real-time chat application using SwiftUI and Firebase, ChatGPT, augmented reality, MVVM design pattern, MV pattern, that's the one that I follow, uh, reminders application clone, and I also publish an application for Swift data that I continuously update. So definitely check out those courses. Thank you so much.